Question 1. Explain how the findings of an audit may be used to improve health and safety performance. For improving health and safety performance by identifying areas of compliance and non-compliance and the reasons for and nature of the non-compliance, identifying the strengths and weaknesses of the existing system, enabling comparison, and benchmarking with other similar organizations. Communicating the findings to management and staff. Informing and enabling remedial actions to be taken emphasizing the need for proactive rather than reactive measures. Aiding prioritization and the allocation of resources. Producing evidence of commitment by the organization in putting health and safety on the agenda. Encouraging continual improvement. Question 2. Outline the role of workplace health and safety inspections. Health and safety inspection would include the identification of workplace hazards, the observation of unsafe conditions or the confirmation of existing safe conditions, the identification of good practice and compliance with agreed procedures and conversely the identification of bad practice, ultimately an impression of the existing situation at the time the inspection was carried. Question 3. Identify the active and reactive measures by which an organization can monitor its health and safety performance. Active measures. Safety inspections, surveys, audits and sampling. Environmental monitoring. Health surveillance. Behavioral observation and benchmarking against the performance of other like organizations. Reactive measures, accident statistics and reports. Sickness absence rates particularly those relating to occupational ill health. Incidents of reported near misses and dangerous occurrences. Property damage. The number of actions such as the issue of notices or prosecutions taken by the enforcement authorities. The number of civil claims. The number of complaints from workers. Question 4. Outline reasons why an organization should review its health and safety performance. Organization shall review its performance to know, to identify substandard health and safety practices and conditions, to identify trends in relation to different types of incidents in general, to compare actual performance with previously set targets to benchmark the organization's or an industry norms, to identify whether control measures are in use and to assess their effectiveness, to be able to make decisions on appropriate remedial measures for any deficiencies identified, to set priorities and establish realistic timescales, to assess compliance with legal requirements, to be able to provide a board of directors or safety committee with relevant information, to identify training needs within the organization, to trigger replanning for health and safety. Explain the purpose and benefits of collecting near miss incident data. Purpose The near misses point up events that have the potential to lead to injury and their investigation could prevent recurrence. Benefits Help to identify the underlying causes of accidents. Near-miss incidents represent failures in the safety management system that should be investigated to improve the system. Help to identify inadequate procedures and breaches of the law. Provide additional data for analysis. Help to identify trends. Increase safety awareness. Improve safety culture. Question 7. Outline the immediate action and longer-term action that should be taken following a serious injury accident at work. Immediate action, call for help, first aid and emergency services, take victim away from the danger area if it is safe to do so, remove hazards with imminent danger. Longer-term action, reporting the accident under legal requirement, undertake an investigation, on the basis of investigation findings, work procedures are to be reviewed. 
Question 8. Outline factors that would determine the frequency with which health and safety inspections should be undertaken in a workplace. Level of risk. There is evidence of particular problems in the workplace derived from previous inspections and audits or reactive monitoring. The workforce includes more vulnerable members. Recommendations have been made following risk assessments, justified by accident history and outcomes of accident investigations, on the basis of reports of ill health or health surveillance required by enforcing authorities, insurers, or manufacturer's recommendations, there are new processes, new equipment, or changes to safe system of work.